Yo, what's up, your boy KSI, the GDBT. Straight after the boxing fight that I had with Joella, one of the biggest, no, the biggest <laughs> amateur boxing fight of all time. Over 25 million people watched the fight and it's still going. Unbelievable event. First of all, hands down, thank you to everyone that came out. It was insane. But I told you guys, I told you that I was gonna win. A lot of you were just like, nah, KSI has just been too cocky, too arrogant. I taught the talk and I walked the walk. <clears throat> Sorry, about my voice after winning it got a bit mad so yeah that was yeah but anyway I thought a lot of you would love to see me actually react to the fight go through what I was thinking my emotions etc and besides it's been a while since I've like talked to you directly I mean if you follow me on snapchat or instagram it's all there and you would have seen what I've been up to and then I, you know you would have seen me talk to you guys etc uh without further ado I'm not gonna waste anyone else's time I'm gonna go straight into this and uh, talk about the fight so obviously around this time I was in the dressing room yo I was just chilling bro like I was calm the thing is a lot of people forget that I've you know performed in front of thousands before I've done stuff in front of a lot of people or in front of a live audience I've done that quite a few times whereas Joe hasn't actually done too many like performances like this obviously this is the first time I've ever done a boxing match obviously there's pressure with that I feel like Joe was feeling the pressure a lot more than I was I haven't actually seen <laughs> Joe on his entrance I'm gonna quickly look through that right now more people were cheering him than uh, booing him I, I think there was definitely a lot more Joe on the fans than uh, than my fans. His trainers looked more worried. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, this dude over here, the Polish dude, he had to watch um, my hands get wrapped and he just, let's just say he didn't feel confident you know, being there. He just didn't have that aura of we're gonna do business. We were just there like, we know what to do. We're gas, we're excited, it's chill, we're gonna have fun, it's all blessed. The thing is, he looks, he looks, he looks all right. He looks like he's embracing it, yeah, yeah. A few, yeah, look at that, he looks all right. All right and then obviously I come through and there's me trying to do some shit dance. I don't know what I was doing there. I turned like a fucking idiot. Also, I don't want to make this boring for you guys. I just want to like get to the good bit, the actual fighting. Those of you wondering why there was a delay, this motherfucker took my head fucking guard. <laughs> His head guard is black and the one I was wearing was red. You know why? It works with my outfit. Got this cool outfit, got everything set, color coordinated. And then he goes and takes my head, my head guard. And I'm just there like, for fuck's sake. The referee was just like, so are we fighting with head guards or not? Come on. There was a small chance of us actually fighting without head guards. He's just trying to watch me. He's just trying to put fear into my eyes, I'm there like, I don't give a fuck, motherfucker. I know what I need to do. I ain't afraid of you, bro. I fought people way scarier than you. So at this moment, he's telling me, you're nervous. I know you're nervous. <laughs> you're nervous. I'm there like, you're fucked. Trust me, bro. You're fucked. That's all I said. You're fucked. <laughs> bro, this guy's nervous as fuck. You can tell. He's just there like, you're nervous. You're nervous. Of course you'd say that if you're nervous. <laughs> I was just there like, this is what uh, Mayweather did against uh, McGregor. I know what I need to do. It's cool, it's cool. <laughs> I was just trying to replicate it. I don't know. I respect everyone who does boxing now. Dude, there's so much that goes into boxing. It's unbelievable. I ha my hats off anyone that does boxing it and like does a profession. Now I understand why May Mayweather is a god. And before I'm just there like, this, this is boring. He's just, he sucks. Like, what's he doing? He's just, how does he win? It's like, I don't get it. Now I'm there like, oh my God, the way he just slipped that. Oh my God, he just rolled that. Oh my God. God, that's it, that counter. Oh my God, he's he's just, he's just so fast, he's sick. The respect is just gone up. Let's get to the fight, motherfucker, holy crap. So a lot of people are just like, are you nervous? I'm not nervous, bro. I don't get nervous, I don't get nervous. The only time I've ever been nervous uh, was at the beginning of me like, performing. The more you do, the less nervous you get because you're comfortable, that's just how it is. All right, so first of all, well played with Joe. You put pressure on me, like he ran in and pressured. So it was annoying because I was gonna do a tactic where fake with the jab and then I hit him with a cross right to the body to really like initiate my dominance but he just came real quick up close to me and I was there like fuck 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 so I was just there like all right I just got a jab I got a jab keep him away I'm just there jabbing 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 hit the body trying to find the body a few times just but jabbing 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 jab jab a few so I did I did the right hook because you know I saw that his guard was just this he was Guard like this. He wasn't really guarding like that. I was just there like, well, the hook is there, so let me go for it. Notice how I'm going to the body. So many people forget how important body shots are. That's why I won the fight, 100% is why I won the fight because I kept 
go into the body. I was breaking them down slowly. Body shots won't drop him, but they do damage, especially in the later rounds. It was six rounds of this, guys. I'm gonna have to, you know, pace myself and make sure that I put in the hard work now so that in the later rounds, when he's gassed and like struggling and he's wondering why he's, you know, he can't breathe as easily as he was before, it's because of those body shots. I was just there. Just so at this point, so when I stop here, I'm just there like, what are you doing? Why aren't you hitting back? Body shot there, and then like, what are you doing? <laughs> are you gonna throw, bro? And then he threw. So when he threw there, bro, I was there like, whoa, this guy's fast. Definitely must have been nervous, and he was just there like, okay, I'm gonna try and absorb as many of these punches. I could tell he was just there like, bobby, bobby, bobby. That's why I kept jabbing because every time I jabbed, he can't throw. He's just there like, fuck. Okay, I just gotta wait, just gotta wait. And then he found that time just there. Yeah, he just found a bit of time and then just hit me there. And at that point, I was like, okay, I go retreat, retreat, retreat. Thing is, people are like, D did these shots hurt? No, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, these shots didn't hurt. It just surprised me. I've been sparring with big, strong, heavy dudes. So like, I've taken punches. So like with Joe, a lot of these were just like quick taps. <clears throat> it was just like a reminder to know that he's there and he can still do something. I had to make sure. So sure, what Joe's doing here was sick. He's putting the pressure on and he's throwing. That's what he should have done at the beginning. It was too defensive at the beginning, just doing this, doing this. And he got me way too comfortable. Once I knew I could hit him, I was there like, okay, body shots, body shots. Hook, hook. Like, I always start everything with a jab. Now he's just there hitting me. And I'm like, cool. So I can tell he's kind of tired around this point. Cool. All right, let me just jab. Let me go jab. So if you, if you, I don't know if you can see him. He's just there, like, smiling. It's like really evil, sadistic smile. I was there, like, this guy's a freak. <laughs> At that moment, I, I was like, all right, so this guy likes to swing with his left. So I, I always, like, I was just watching his left now just seeing what he's doing. He never really hit me with the right. It was kind of weird. All right, now another thing. My right hand <laughs> should not be there. It was terrible. Like, my hand should be in here. That's how my style should have been. When I was fighting him, I was fighting him like this. I just got way too comfortable, bro. Like, he wasn't pressuring me. He, I didn't need to put this right hand up because he wasn't really doing anything. He wasn't really active. Like, it's almost a minute in, and like, I've punched him way more times. I hit him with a dirty body shot here. And he felt that, and Vidal got gas. You know why? I could tell he felt that. When I hit him, he went, mm. Notice how his hands all of a sudden drop. Look at his hands. Before his hands were up there, he was just there, like doing that, doing that. As soon as I hit him with that body shot, he was just there, like, oh, that fucking hurt. So he's there, like, okay, gonna keep my elbows down here, to avoid that. And then I'm just there, like, jab in the face. Jab, jab. And then back to the body. Body. And then he tried to hit me again with that. And they're like, cool, cool. JJ looks shaken okay, by some of these shots, you know. Shaken by some of these shots. The commentary was so biased. I'm going to say this hands down. Lawrence and Jordy, I love you, but this was the one of the most biased commentaries of all mankind. But look, again, no, it's look, just, just jab. Look, look, so notice how he's always trying to get towards me. I'm there always retreating because I don't want him here. I want him here. I want him always here. So I can just jab, jab, jab and fuck with him with my range, bro. I want to just do that. If I'm there, I can't really do much. And then that's where he's most effective. There I'm trying to, there I was there like, all right, let me try and get a few uppercuts because you know, I saw it. I saw there was an opening there. So notice how every time he's trying to come forward, I hit and I move him. Again, hit, hit and then push JJ and then hit and boom so and then far. just move him away just keep him on the outside and then whenever he tries to come inside i'm back so that was another like that was that could have fucked me up he went in there and just went in there with the right hook the reason why i just dodged that is because i my footwork my footwork just my footwork was on point i just got out of trouble and kept the distance too well i'm just there yeah, cool so this was the, so yeah so he had me on the ropes here a few low blows there like he did definitely uh, hit me with one good shot. I think it's here. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, hear me with that one shot. Jordy. <laughs> Look, listen how mad Jordy gets. And now, Joe loves the left. Listen. And he's roughing him up right and in the face. Oh my god. And people are like, did that hurt? Bro, it did not hurt me one bit. Like, look at my face. Look at my face. Can you see? Bro, do I look like I've just had a boxing fight? This is literally like a day or two after the fight. Mine's clean. Nothing bust up. Nothing. The only thing that hurts is my throat after shouting and screaming from celebrating. Joe was just there like, okay. I hit him with a good shot there and he's just, I'm not flustered. And he's just there, okay, interesting. So now he's how he's just there, right back there, like, okay, cool. I'm a bit tired now. 
I'm gonna just absorb some of these shots. Why is he jumping? He jumps, he, like, he shouldn't jump like that. He needs to stay ground. Very sensei, man, you taught me to stay ground. You need to tell Joe that he loses power doing that, but anyway. It's a big left from I'm just there like, all right, keep him away from him, and then he's there smiling. But I'm there like, bro, okay. And he's there smiling. I'm there like, bro, you're the one bleeding. You can't smile <laughs> when you're bleeding. Did you see that disgusting uppercut? Look at this, bro. Dirty, fam. Dirty. Dirty uppercut. I'm just there like jab, jab, and then I hold on to his head, put it down, and then I bang him up with the uppercut. Bro, look at this. Boom. Did you see that? Fucking shit! I think that's that's when I won the fight. Like, look at him smiling, smiling. Boom! He did not like that. And then I hit him with a jab again. He's just dead. Like, what the fuck's going on? Back to the body. Boom! And then combos, 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 combos. All right. Relax, relax, relax. Don't get too gas, JJ. Like, yeah. So I wanted, I wanted to go ham, but I was so tired, man. In the ring, and you've got all these people watching you. It's tiring. It does get tiring. And then I was there, like, fuck. I hope this is entertaining for you guys so I hope this is like a good insight I don't know what this this is I've never really done a video like this so I, this could be the most boring video ever or this could be the most interesting but Joe didn't move his head enough bro I'm gonna I'm going to just jab through that I'm going to smash through that constantly that's easy this is what Joe was doing Joe was just bopping 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 there wasn't enough movement he didn't change levels head movement head movement head movement head movement head movement and then I'm just there swinging. Joe just would just get wild there. Body shot again, and body shots. Just constantly, just working everything. Joe didn't hit me with any body shots. The amount of ab workout I did, I was like, I know Joe is going to fuck my body up. But he did nothing, bro. It's like, I was so surprised. I just kept him at bay with the jab. And then I hit him with a few uppercuts. Right hooks. And just jab, 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 boom. And then body shots, body shots. And I just... I felt sick. I did everything I needed to do. I don't. I heard apparently that Joe was for the first round just gonna let me out punch myself and wait for me to get tired. Joe, I had done way too much cardio for you to try and tire me out. There was no way, no way in hell I was gonna let you out cardio me. Remember, you were like the fight was gonna be three twos, three rounds of two minutes, and then. You wanted it to be six threes because you were like, oh, you're not fit enough. As soon as you said that, I knew, okay, that's one of your game plans was to try and tire me out. As soon as it changed from six twos to six threes, the amount of cardio I did, bro, I did so much fucking cardio. It's unreal. And I'm not exaggerating. Hundreds of hours of cardio. Round two, surely he's going to make me work now. Like, I was like, he hasn't made me work at all. And I'm, I'm just there like, bad jab. And I was like, cool, okay. So like, like, like good. Okay, cool. It's good. He's just trying to get in there and just, you know, work, which was good. That's what he's meant to do. So I'm just there like, jab, jab, jab. And then as soon as he tries to get towards me, I'm there like, move, 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 move. And then back, move. Again, look at me. I'm constantly moving. Vidal, thank you so much, bro. The footwork was key. First thing he taught me, he was like, before you even punch, we're gonna fix your feet. Moving, jab, jab, move, move, move. Constantly moving. Just moving to the side. Moving, moving, look at that. Moving constantly. Moving, moving, hit, hit, move. Trying to put the pressure on, and I'm there like, no, 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 no. I ain't letting you do that, bro. And then whenever he gets, try to, whenever he gets close, I just, I just clinch, and then boom, and then I'm out, and then I'm out. He's knackered, he's fucked. You know why? The body shots, the body shots make things hell for you. He's breathing, and then it hurts to breathe. He's there like, Fuck, why does it hurt? Body shots, bro, body shots. Joe's just trying to get in inside. I'm there like, no, I'm not gonna let you. I'm not gonna let you, bro. I'm going to move. And I'm gonna aim for that body shot. And then look, he's trying to get in again. I clinch, bro, I'm clinch. Uh, a few back of the head shots, that was bad on my part. I shouldn't have done that. I didn't mean to. It's not like I was meaning to do a head, like, back of the head. I was just trying to hit his body just to make sure it looks like I'm doing something. He's knackered. He, he can't be asked, Bro, and the thing is, <laughs> you can tell he's getting frustrated. Why? That's why he was doing that. He's just there like, fuck off. Stop holding me whenever I get close. I was just there trying to work on the movement, head movement. And they're like, cool. Just again, drinking it. Bro, another, another dirty. Look, look at that. 
Boom, so uppercut. Joe's yeah, bro. Joe was not ready for these uppercuts, man. When you get an uppercut done on you, and your head goes back like that, and you're like, oh, fuck me, man. And yeah, yeah. Taking Joe did not like this, so... Joe at that point clinched me and I was there like, no motherfucker. I didn't know how much time I had left. I was like, I'm gonna finish you this round. And then he held on to me. So I was just there like, get off me, fam. Get your fucking body off me. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I stood up. I was like, nah, fam, nah, nah. And I looked at him, I was like, nah, you ain't doing that shit. I knew I could tell Joe did not want any of this. No, it's like, I checked my, my nose. Cause I saw there was so much blood, so I was like, is that me? And then I, I was like, surely, what the fuck? And I wasn't bleeding, I wasn't caught or anything. I was like, I couldn't believe it, bro. I couldn't believe how easy this fight was. I, like, maybe to a certain extent, arrogant and cocky, but bro, I didn't think it was gonna be this easy. Boom, jab, boom, uppercut, boom. Ah, oh, bro, I had just such good combos. So this round, I decided, this is it. I've hit him with enough body shots. I'm going to go hand. So again, Joe's trying to just get on the inside. That was the first and only body shot that Joe did. I, I remember it now. Time to go. Time to go. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, let's go. My turn. Round one, round two, I'm on the defensive. I'm on the defensive. I'm still hitting him. Round three, I was like, I, I'm going to show you that I can fucking fight. Look at me, hunting him, hunting him. Now, fuck me. <laughs> if that had properly connected, he spat out his mouth guard. You can't just, while we're boxing, just stop and go, yo, ref, my mouth guard, you can't, what, you can't do that. Joe's like, what the hell, man? Why is he punching me? Nigga, you just stopped in between a boxing match and decided to go, Oh, I spat my mouth guard out oh, to the ref. Fucking hell. So he's attacking me, he's attacking me. Again, jab, 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 jab. Constantly jab. Joe didn't jab once, bro. Or he, he hardly jabbed. Boom, boom, fish, bash. Tried to hold on to my fucking arm. I was like, get off me, motherfucker, I'm gonna kill you. This is it, this is it. Again, try to hold on to my arm. I was like, nah, this is it, bro. So that, this is where I'm just like, smack my chest because I wanted to put fear in him, bro. I just, boom, let's go. And I'm like, I'm gonna fuck your shit up. I'm dropping you, motherfucker. I'm putting everything. You ain't answering to it. You ain't answering. Boom. Ah, oh, bro. And I thought that was it. Uppercut, left, right, hit jab. Right, I was just going ham. I was doing all my training. The way Joe was stumbling across, you could tell, bro. Joe looks being and bruised, man. They were just like, wipe his nose. The ref was just trying to give him so many chances, which is fair enough. Boom. Size him up with a jab. Size him up with a jab. Bang, bang, bang. Boom, it's over, it's over. Boom, there we go. Tactical game out of fan. This was... Hands so down, the best day of my life. Hands down, the best day of my life. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Oh my fucking god. Bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. I was so gassed. Oh my god. This is literally the best day of my life, man. Legit. Like, see my friends, my family. So happy. Just gassed and excited. Oh, dude. It just warmed my heart, man. All my hard work, all my training for this moment. And then to just succeed and to prove everyone wrong. So many people doubted me. So many people said I would never be able to do it. So many people were just like, you're a FIFA gamer. You just, you're a YouTuber, you can't do it. Joe, look at the size of Joe. Joe's gonna fuck you up. I was like, no, he fucking isn't. No way. Commiserations to Joe, but Joe did just, Joe didn't do enough, bro. He just didn't do anything. I've sparred way hard. I've had way worse spars than that match, bro. Like, that was way easier than I thought it'd be, man. You know it was easy when my hand was down. My hands were down, bro. I, my, normally I have my right hand up. I felt like I overtrained. It was, it was crazy. Fuck me. What a day. It was ugh, unbelievable, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction to it. Uh, I guess me talking in depth. I don't know. This I've never done anything like this, and hopefully this was insightful. Yeah, commiserations, Joe. Respect to him for coming in the ring, doing what many people wouldn't. I know so many people that couldn't do what Joe did. Hats off to Joe. Unlucky, man. Like, it is what it is. We both trained hard. Gave the people a good fight. I know Joe could have done better. I don't know. I, I maybe I maybe the team, he didn't even have the right team. This has been your boy, Kiss Salah, GWT. I'll see you guys in a bit. Obviously, the whole Jake Paul and Logan Paul. I'll deal with that later. You know, like, it's not even worth my time to reply. I'm going to take my time because I, I looked at a few of their, a bit of the video and I was just like, this, what, what are they doing? Like, these guys are the art of 
drawing something out and dodging. Everyone's gonna be like, oh, like, you know, you can't do that against Logan. Of course I know. If I was gonna fight Logan or Jake, I know they're both taller than me. I'm going to box them like Mike Tyson and I will show you, I'm sure Joe will see if I do fight them both, how to fight like Mike Tyson, how to like bop and weave, bop and weave, and how whenever you get on the inside, you work. But anyway, I'm, I'm gonna shut up. This video is way too long. I will see you guys <laughs> in a bit. Uh, take care and peace.